The Family Research Institute's Paul Cameron was recently on a crosstalk with Jim Schneider of VCY America, that's apparently the voice of Christian youth, and uh, he went on a rant about President Obama and gay marriage, but of course, since he's an insane right winger, it's going to take a twist at some point. Let's watch. Well, the timing is, I think, miserable for his reelection. Uh, I would have uh, expected him, as you did, to wait until he was uh, the new president and say, uh, guess what? I've changed my mind, or I've evolved. But homosexuality is the one sin or the one uh, habit that is 24-7. It is homosexuality all the time. And actually, uh, while I'm not sure about the claims by the various people who have, uh, who have reported that Obama has at least participated at times with them in homosexual acts, uh, this certainly lends some credence. Did you hear that? Did you catch it? Well, I have heard that Obama has participated in homosexual acts. I guess so. Yeah. His wife and two kids notwithstanding, et cetera, et cetera. Could just throw it out there. And where have you heard that? From your other lunatic right-wing friends, right? No basis in fact, obviously, right? I just, yeah, we're, we're conservatives, who cares? Yeah, oh yeah, I bet Obama's gay. <laughs> he continues. Mark my words uh, clearly. The long-term goal of the homosexual movement is to get every little boy to grab his ankles and every <laughs> little girl to give it a try. They will not rest until every one of our children at least gets to try, has the opportunity, and maybe is forced to at least once experience homosexual acts. Hmm. There is there's no retreating from that. They've made it very clear earlier on. Now they don't talk about it, but uh, that's what they want. They will not be happy until they get it. Marriage is just a step along the way. And they've made it very clear. Really? Can you provide me quotes from any gay rights leaders that said, we uh, demand that every boy and girl in the country try homosexuality, and if not, we'll force them into it. So I guess that he's saying that the gay community has an agenda to rape boys and girls across the country if they don't agree to be gay. Really? And, but that's a well-known fact in your own lunatic mind. Where? Where's the quotes? Where's the documentation? Where's any evidence? You don't have any, because you made it up, because you're a hateful person who, uh, you know, maybe hates himself, but uh, was certainly is taking it out on the gay community, and, uh, and says, oh yeah, well obviously Obama's gay, and obviously uh, gay people want to come after our uh, young boys and girls, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. No, but no, really, gay people, vote for Republicans, see how that turns out for you. This is their base. This is not a small group, are you kidding me? The Family Research Council Institute? You know, here we go. It's the same uh, group of guys that drive all those voters out. Well, why did Rick Santorum keep surprising us? He didn't have that much money. He kept surprising everybody and winning all those different states because the, the you know, these uh, right-wingers, these, some of these fundamentalist evangelicals decided, hey, you know what? This guy seems the most hateful, let's go for him, right? This is their voters. You're gonna vote Republican. Okay, have at it, man. Talk about bending over and grabbing your ankles.